So, uh, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? My name's Tim Matson. And what is it you do? Play music. Start with the basics. Uh, favorite movie? Favorite movie would be North Shore. It's all about turtle. Yes, I agree. Okay. Favorite band? Uh, John Cash. Favorite food? Uh, sushi. Hmm. Love sushi. Fist bumps or high fives? High fives. Would you rather A, be mauled by a chimpanzee, or B, take one solid swipe to the face by a grizzly bear? Um, I'm going to say the grizzly bear. Why? Come on, on the tombstone, would you rather say died by grizzly bear or died by chimpanzee? Valid point. Yeah. Um, what have you been listening to this week? Um, Ray LaMontagne, um, John Mayer's new album. Um, yeah. So, for all the people who have never heard your music, how would you describe your style? Uh, my style is a, I would say, a lay your heart on the line, um, bear it all, folk, acoustic, you yeah. know. Cool. Um, what does the progression look like that's led you to that sound? Like, did you start in bands? Did you start just playing by yourself? Or? Uh, I started as a, I started in a punk band. Um, as a singer, um, I sang because I didn't have an instrument to play. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's where it started, and it led to uh, me getting an instrument and doing this. Did you start folky, or was it? No. Is more. Uh, no, it was. Uh, it was just acoustic, um, just anywhere where I could vent and write, and that was, uh, you know, in solitude and. Um, the songs were for me, and you know it progressed to playing on a stage and doing an album. And, cool. So and the banjo came into play. The banjo. It's very raw, and it's not as pretty. Yeah. And it's just, uh, you know, I kind of say, you know, it sounds like I sing. Amazing grace, and how sweet the sound. That saved a wretch like me And I once was lost But now I'm found I was blind but now Tell me a little bit about the new album. What's it called, and how'd you come up with the name? Um, new album is called Where I Am. Uh, I came up with the name because it's a, uh, I would say it's a consolidation of uh, past and present, um, things that I've gone through, um, being vulnerable, I would say, just being raw and being a human and uh, my faith. Uh, what I believe, and uh, it's just, it's my journey of uh, my life to this point. Kind of what does your life story look like that's led you up to this point? Um, I grew up as Christian, in a Christian home, Christian grandparents, uh, lineage of being a Christian, um, you know, the bloodline passed down to um, uh, to go to church and to, to love God, and uh, but um, me as an individual, I would say that I'm I'm, I'm very independent. I'm very uh, um, innately uh, rebellious, I would say, and I've always loved doing things my own way. And um, so I walked away in high school, um, 
I'm from God, and I don't, I don't really know if I ever truly understood the idea of God's love and um, His will for my life, and I kind of had already, I guess, predestined a will for myself, and uh, I didn't know what that looked like, and it just took me down a uh, dark path of drugs and alcohol and jail and girls and just being broken and lonely and um, uh, that was the season of me being uh, the prodigal and uh, it ended with a suicide attempt and uh, you know luckily God saved me and, and has brought me to this place and uh, I just you know I'm blessed and I thank him for it and what he's taught me through through those broken and, and lonely times of uh, thinking of making myself my own God and, and uh, you know what happens when you do that yeah so cool it's heavy yeah so it was a uh, I mean would you say the new album is basically look where I was you know this guy yeah and now look where I am and yeah totally it's uh it's, it, yeah, it's who I was, it's, it's how I lived my life, and uh, how I viewed who I was, and how others viewed me, and um, instead of, instead of uh, looking at how God viewed me as an individual, as an artist, as, uh, as a child that, you know, he loved. Yeah. I didn't understand that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely... It's definitely that. It's a. It's an album of, of redemption, but there's also songs. Um, uh, there's a song called "Bound to the Grave," and it's it's a song of uh, a dark time for me. And uh, how you can feel that, how you can feel the the chords of sin, I guess, kind of entangling you and feeling like you can't get out and you don't know how to uh, call out for a rescue. Yeah. And. Uh, that there is a rescue and there is redemption and yeah, it's definitely it's a consolidation of all of that. <laughs> cool. Cool. When the album's finally finished, where will people be able to buy it? You can get it on iTunes. Awesome. Download on iTunes like everybody does. <laughs> awesome. If you could punch one person in the face, <laughs> living or dead, who would it be? Um <laughs> Uh, there would be a few, but I would say uh, on my laundry list, the top would be uh, probably All right. a good old punch to the chin. All right. It's going to upset a few fans. But... That's all right. Okay, cool. <laughs>